Okay, hello everybody. So I thought that today I would film a little get ready with me. Please do excuse my voice. I do have a cold, hence why I sound like I've got a cold. Um, I thought that I would just sit in front of my window and film a get ready with me. I haven't managed to kind of have the time to get together like a nice background or anything like that just yet. So I'm literally just going to be sitting in front of my window for the next few videos, um, just depending on what I'm filming or if I'm vlogging, etc. This is just going to be a, like an everyday typical day in autumn. Um, got my pumpkin lights right here and got a couple of pumpkins in the back this one's mine and this one's Jamie's it's really hard to do that um, so yeah that is the pumpkins but yeah I have just done some skincare this morning so I'll talk you through that as well so in terms of skincare I have literally just done my skincare routine I am gonna do a skincare morning skincare routine video on my channel in the future so that's gonna be a future video I have done an evening skincare routine which I'll link down below in the description if you want to go and watch that but I literally just use a few products in the morning so all I have on my skin right now in terms of skincare is products from the body shop because I am a consultant at the body shop if you didn't already know I'll link my Facebook page in the description but this is the vitamin E hydrating toner so I just popped a little bit of that on and then over the top I put on the drops of youth essence lotion which is one of my favorite products at the body shop and very hydrating especially for putting makeup on it's really really nice and then the seaweed oil control gel cream which is perfect for oily skin it is a really nice moisturizer so that's why i use that because i do have oily skin so i'm now going to get into the makeup so to start us off i am actually going to start off by using a product from the body shop don't worry um it's not all going to be body shop because i don't have that much makeup it's mainly just skincare but i'm going to be taking the mint mattifying face mist this is perfect as a primer and also a setting spray as well as kind of like a daily face mist so 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 nice and cooling and hydrating so I take a little bit of that and then I just kind of let it set on my face and then I am going to go in with foundation so today I'm using the elf flawless satin foundation this is in the shade beige it is I would say it's the perfect shade for me but it could be a tad bit too light so I'm just going to take a little bit of that on the back of my hand and then apply it around my face. It's a really nice kind of lightweight foundation. Like coverage wise, it's not like amazing in terms of like full coverage. I would say it's a medium coverage to buildable foundation. So you can build it up to full if you um, put like another layer on. Um, but I quite like the fact that it's medium coverage because it just means that you're not kind of piling on too much foundation onto your skin. It looks a little bit more natural. Obviously it's quite pale on my skin or should I say it looks very pale on the camera but it does match my neck so, and that's what we're interested in when it comes to makeup is whether it matches the rest of your body. Also this foundation is only £7.50 and I think for £7.50 for an elf foundation is really really good so I would recommend that. Okay so that is my foundation done obviously there's still blemishes and stuff like that so I'm going to now go in with concealer and I'm going to be using today the Sleek Life Proof Concealer in the shade number three, Cafe Olay. Now, this is a really nice full coverage concealer. It is um, probably a little bit darker than the foundation, but that's fine because it all blends in quite nicely together. Like, it's not exactly highlighting, but it does cover up really nicely. So I'm going to pop it under my eyes and in the areas of my face where I usually like to. I do kind of go in a little bit heavier with concealer than maybe some people would like to. Um, just because I want to cover my face like I go in with foundation as like a base layer and then concealer is to cover where there is like any redness or any where that just needs a little bit of coverage so this is where I always put concealer I'm gonna do blemishes afterwards take my real technique sponge Now this is when I am going to just cover up a few blemishes. This is if you want to go full coverage. I don't always cover my blemishes up but it's just if I kind of want that kind of really full coverage look. Maybe I'm going on a night out or something like that um, or just day to day sometimes. I like to have a little bit more coverage. I'm the kind of person that I'm like well why not go for perfection um, or like a flawless finish 
when you can do. So I'm gonna grab that and just kind of gently blend that in. And it does cover really well. This is when you do see the coverage of the concealer because of how quickly that does cover up blemishes and things like that. Sorry, a bus just went past. Right, Jamie just came through and nicely opened the door and then left and didn't shut it, so thanks for that. Um, but I'm going to powder my face using this powder from Natural Collection. It's obviously like really cheap because it's just Natural Collection. And then I'm going to use this brush, which I did actually recently buy, but I actually don't know where from. Like I can't remember, and that's quite a weird thing to buy something and not remember when or why you bought it or where from. Um, so I'm just going to powder my face. When you've got oily skin like me, like you have to powder your face, otherwise your foundation will just come off. And this makes it completely matte. Oh, the chest. But doesn't my face look really white on there? Yeah, it does. When actually it's not. You're a ghost. I know. It's not that white. It's because of the mirror in front. And look, I've got a candle on it to the pumpkins. You can see the pumpkins in the background. Mine's bad. Um, no. Bronzer. I have a couple of bronzers. I think I'm going to use this one because I've nearly run out of it. It's from Poundland, literally just a pound. There's people like using like 100 pound bronzers and then I'm here literally using a one pound bronzer. And I'm going to put it on my forehead. I always use bronzer, even when I'm like literally just doing my makeup really quickly, I always use bronzer. Especially when my face looks this pale, you need some bronzer. Yeah, my phone on charge. Yeah. I thought it was mine because I'd put it on charge. And then, and then someone. And then I saw charge. it was moved and I was like, it's not my phone. And I was like, there's a crack in it, so I freaking hope it's not. Uh oh, who put that there? Would you be able to close the door if you're exiting the premises? Yeah. Thank you. Do you know when uh, it's easy way to test my phone or not? Mine always says that on it. Mine's always oh, got right. that. that yeah, because like obviously me and Jamie have got the same lock screen, so we don't know whose phone to, so, which is funny. Uh -oh. Okay, so my face looks a little bit more bronzed. Obviously, like in real life, it looks so much more bronzed. Bronzed, like, can you see? Like my face is the normal colour. It's just how it looks um, on here, unfortunately. But what can you do? Not much. So I am now going to use some blusher. And today I'm going to use a blusher that I haven't used yet on my channel before. It's from Annabelle Minerals. And it is quite a nice brush blusher. I wouldn't say that it's my personal favourite. It is more of a... Ooh, a bus. It's more of a kind of pinky, purpley toned blusher. And it is a loose powder. So for me, despite this being quite an expensive blusher, I would say that it is... <sighs> It isn't my favourite because of the colour of it and also because it is a faff to use with the fact that powder gets literally everywhere um, and you're just kind of wasting product and it is quite expensive and I do have blushes from Houndland that are really really good and I would say better so you know that's life isn't it and I also like to pop a little bit on my chin and my nose it just adds a bit more colour obviously colour will hit your whole face not just you know your cheekbones and up here so I am now going to highlight using oh actually maybe I'll contour yeah I will I'll contour a little bit my legs got numb already not good so i'm going to contour using my sleek um face form contouring and blush palette in the shade fair 372 i'm just going to use this contour shade i literally tap the slightest bit in because pigmentation of that product is crazy like i literally just tap it tap off the excess and then use the product chisel out everything I'm the kind of person that doesn't buy a lot of makeup. I only really get new makeup from my glossy box or from the body shop. Or if I run out of something and I need it, then I'll buy it. I don't really go to the shop and be like, oh, I'm going to get this. Oh, I'm going to get that. Like, I might do that, you know, in the future. But right now, that's not me. I do need to really wash my brushes. I think I'm going to do that today. So I'm going to just pop a little bit underneath my lip. It just gives the appearance of kind of more fuller lips. I've always done that. And then a little bit on my nose. So it just chisels out your nose a little bit and defines it a little bit more, which I really like. As When I started doing this, I thought, you know, I'll just do it on the odd occasion, but now I can't not do it. I always contour my nose now. 
because it does make such a difference like you might not be able to see on the camera because for some reason it's making my face look like it's not existent um but it does make a massive difference so highlighter wise i am actually going to use the highlighter that is in this palette and my little highlighter brush and i'm just gonna sweep a little bit of that in and then take it up my cheekbone it is a really really pigmented highlighter if you can't see again it's because of the stupid light um but you know what can you do what can you do so oh my god my voice steady went then um oh dear okay so now i'm just going to blend all of that out and i'm going to use the powder brush that i used at the start to blend all of that out which is this one and i'm going to take the body sharp shimmer waves palette in the shade number one bronze this is an amazing product as like an overall glow so i use it just all over my face to blend out product that i've already put on but it just gives that nice kind of bronzy shimmer all over your face if you've got kind of matte skin or like dry skin or things like that this is the perfect product to kind of make your skin look like it's got that kind of nice just glowing shimmer so yeah this is a great product and i use this every single day for that purpose Okay, now I'm gonna go in with eyebrows. So I'm gonna take my eyebrow brush, my eyebrow um, thingy, whatever you call it, and I'm just gonna wet the end of the brush. Now, I actually wet the end of the brush with another Body Shop's um, face mist. I use the Rose Dewy Glow Face Mist, and I'm just gonna kind of pop a little bit of that on, and it just means that the pomade that I use for my eyebrows will pick up pigment a lot better, and the pigmentation of it is just nicer and I use the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. Um, but before that, I'm just gonna kind of brush out my eyebrows a little bit. I am gonna zoom you in a little bit closer so that you can see um, me a little bit better, hopefully. So I'll just do a little bit of a brush out, kind of brush them forward and then brush them back again before I do that. Hello there. Oh, hello. They can't really see you because I've zoomed in. Um, you can if you can turn it all the way down. Yeah, Jamie's just playing on his game whilst I'm doing this, but I won't be that long. And as you can see, it's running very low, so I'm gonna pop a little bit of that on my brush and put it into my eyebrow to make them a bit darker. If I go on a night out, I do my eyebrows so much more than this. Um, but because I can't be bothered to do that, then I will just... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. And then I will just do this. Do the other eyebrow. Why is it not in focus on my face? That's not fair. Okay, there we go. Break, yeah, exactly. That's a bit rude. <laughs> right, I think I might have done that eyebrow. I actually hate doing my eyebrows so much because A, you can never get them the same, or they just look either really fake or just not good enough or it doesn't go with the eyeshadow like if you've got strong bold eyeshadow which i usually have on then you need to make your eyebrows darker otherwise you'll look stupid um so i don't really know what i'm doing today we'll just have to see um but i said i would use this palette because i got this in my glossy box so that's what i'm gonna do so there's not really too much that you can do with this it's just kind of pinky purples it's I don't really know what the brand's called. Oh, it's called Style, and this is the Angel Eyeshadow Palette. Now, this, I do have some things to say about this. Where is my brush for eyeshadow? There it is. Okay, so this is really good, and the shades are really good, especially the shimmers and things like that, but the matte shades have a lot of fallout, so if you put these on your eyes, you'll get a lot of fallout of eyeshadow down your face, and that's not good because it can stick into the rest of your face and things like that if you don't have a lot of powder on. Um, I'm fine because I just sweep it away because my face is obviously powdered and quite matte, but for some people that is a problem. But I am today going to use all of these shades to show you how you can use every 
every single shade in this palette on your eyes um, and I also like to use loads of eyeshadows so I'm going to use this one to start with and it's just really pale and you just kind of pop it over your eyelid just to set everything in place and kind of just I don't know it's like a nice base shade it doesn't really add that much but it just makes me feel a little bit better when doing it and then I'm going to mix these two shades together as like a transition as you can see there's a lot of fallout there like I said and you just kind of pop that as a transition shade and bring it up slowly so that everything else can blend in after you've done that and then again look watch that that's crazy that is not good it's not too much of an issue having fallout unless um, you, you don't do makeup very often then you'll just get it everywhere right then as a base shade like god there is a lot of powder and um, overall I'm gonna take the middle pink shade this is also matte and I'm just gonna pop that all over the lid just a little bit of color and then pop that a little bit into the crease again this is a lot more pigmented in real life because obviously the camera seems to make me really pale. I might try and zoom in a little bit more. Maybe you can see that a little bit better. I don't know. But that's a bit weird. I'll show you clips afterwards of what it looks like completely in a different room. Um, shimmer shades. I feel like my voice is going to go by the end of this video. Um, shimmer shades I'm now going to use. and I'm just going to use my finger. I do have brushes but I like to use my fingers because they work best. Um, so I'm going to take the paler shade which is this one here and pop it in the inner corner where you want to highlight and this will give an ombre effect when you put darker shades next to that. And then I'm going to use this, hang on let me get rid of that, this kind of pinkier shade here and I'm going to pop that on the middle. Blend that out a little. It's a nice little palette, like if you're the kind of person that's not very experienced with makeup or eyeshadows where you can just kind of use every single shade and just make the nice little purpley look every day. So, oh yeah, I forgot to say I'm taking this darker shimmery purple in the, not the outer corner, but like on the right complete edge. I thought that was Dean. Little Dean. Right, so that's all the shimmer shades and then I'm gonna take, oh my God, my voice is going, my brush again and I'm just gonna blend all of that together kind of in the crease, just blending it out. Jamie's little face. Bless his soul. And then this here is a purple and I'm gonna pop that in the crease a little bit and then kind of buff it out very slightly. It is very, very purpley and I like that. Because this look is all about purple. And then the brownie shade here, I'm gonna pop right in the outer corner. Now, when I first got this palette, I wanted to use that to kind of deepen up the crease, but it doesn't do that as much as I like. Um, so I am gonna go in with a different palette and I am gonna go and find a darker brown shade so that I can do that. So I think I'll just take this Morphe palette if I can fit it in the goddamn screen. Um, and I think I'm gonna use this shade here and I'm gonna just darken up the crease because I like to add a little bit of depth to the eye look and also it's kind of like a purpley brown so it does go quite nicely and just build that up a little bit you don't want to go with too much color to start with otherwise you'll look ridiculous I probably could have done with my eyebrows being a little bit darker because maybe you can see that the darker your eyeshadow is, the more your eyebrows need to be darker, otherwise your eyes just look a bit weird. Now, I don't think, or will I? No, I will. I will, I've decided. I'm gonna take some underneath my eye. I wasn't gonna take any underneath my eye, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna use just this matte shade here and here and mix them two together and pop that under my eye. I don't put shimmers under my eye. Um, because you don't need to when you've got mattes and you don't really need to see it. 
so yeah focusing it on like the outer corner rather than the inner corner and then for the inner corner i'm going to take that kind of pinky shade and just pop that on the inner corner of my eye just to highlight a little bit like that Ooh, that is very pinky okay <coughs> just dying brush away any of that fallout which is quite a lot and then i'm going to spray my face to set my makeup I'm going to use the Body Shop product that we used at the start, the Mint Mattifying Face Mist. Oh god, my voice is going. And we're just going to spray all of this. And it just makes your face so much more glowy and it also kind of makes any powder or anything on your face a lot more matte. So I'm going to take this and just blend all of that in. Any spray lines. And then I'm the kind of person that quite likes highlighters, so I go in with my La Ritzy Cosmetics um, Cream Highlighter and I literally just take my finger and I just dab a little bit of that and then pop it on just to intensify the highlight on my face so that in the sun it just looks so much nicer. I always do that now. I do apologise for my cold. It's annoying for me as well. And then what else do we have? Oh yeah, mascara. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. This is the one in the shade Very Black. So I'm gonna grab my mirror because I can't do mascara without a mirror really close to my eyes. And push that on. In fact, I do think I do need to do more of my eyebrows. I'll sort that after. That makes so much more difference. All right, I am just going to sort my eyebrows out because they are really annoying me. And the camera is going to turn off in a minute because we reached 16 minutes. Now we're going to do lipstick, which is probably my favourite part because it's the easiest part. Now, where's my lipsticks? Because I swear, oh no, I think they're in here. So I don't use a normal lip liner. I literally take a lipstick and then I use a lip liner brush. Hang on, the camera is going to turn off. Hello. Oh my god, my my whole camera turns off in 11 minutes which is fine we have time um so i'm gonna use this um lip crayon from beauty big bang they sent this to me ages ago like literally over a year ago i do have a code um for money off but i can't remember what it is and it's probably not working anymore so the makeup's cheap enough anyway and it is really good because i did actually buy some more as you'll see in a minute And then I'm going to use this lip crayon, which is also from Beauty Big Bang, and this one's in the shade number 8, Fuzzy Wuzzy, oh and the other one, sorry, was in the shade number 9, Rose Taupe. This is a really nice lipstick, it's probably one of my favourites. It's a matte lipstick, but it's one of the most comfortable lipsticks in the entire world. Okay, so that is my makeup finished. That is everything that I do, which is to some people a lot. Well, to quite a lot of people, this is a lot to do every single day. But I never, if I don't do this, then I will just not do my makeup completely. Like I struggle to do less makeup than this because if I'm gonna do my makeup, then I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm not just gonna put a few products on because I just don't like the look of it. It's like all or nothing. Um, so yeah, I used that palette today. There's not, I probably won't use this on a video again because there's not too much you can do with this apart from what I've done today. Obviously all of the shades are very similar or very purpley so I probably won't do another video with this um, unless I did like a cut crease or something or something like that um, so I'm just gonna I'm just kind of packing away whilst doing this 